Hi friends, this is Dr. Rohan Virani, your mentor for basal implants and uh, I have seen lot of people, they see the CBCT and they message me, sir, there is no uh, bone available and you know, but I tell them, no, there is sufficient bone and they are confused and today I am going to tell you the secret how you can come to know whether the bone is available in spite of it showing in the CT scan it is not available friends what happens is now let me tell you also that I have done my MDS in oral radiology so whatever I am saying in terms of a CBCT and in terms of basal implantology practice you can just believe me on this because I have done thousands of conventional implants thousands of basal implant done my MDS in oral radiology so I think if you watch this video till the last it will be very useful to you so let me quickly come to one case presentation where you will understand why and this uh, sentence will be shocking to you you will understand why a CBCT sometimes misguides you yes you heard it right why the CBCT misguides you let me show you quickly I just come closer on my screen so this case okay i'm not going to go into the details about the procedure but this conventional implants they have failed and we are planning for the basal one piece implants what i want to show you is basically when you look at a cbct you you know what happens is the cbct center typically will give you the section like this okay it will typically give you the section like this just zoom this closer okay so now if you look at this section very closely you will agree and realize that over here let me just see the setting also if i can improve yeah okay yeah you will feel that there is no bone on the labial side okay do you all agree so if you are looking at the cbct the printed sections and you look at this you will feel that there is no bone labially the threads are exposed and this is one of the common mistakes because these sections are randomly taken but if i show you you can actually alter can you see this line over here can you see this line so if you look at this this implant is not placed straight in the mouth it is not placed straight in the mouth it is tilted so the first thing we need to do is whenever you are evaluating a cbct you take this plane over here okay and you can actually modify the line can you see how i'm changing the tilt can you see this and now i have made the tilt of this implant okay see this okay i have made i have i can change the tilt of this implant the way it is in the mouth and i can come back to this implant and now you see this image now you see this image you will see there is ample labial bone over here ample nasal cortical over here and there is ample bone over here did not get confused see this just see what happens when i'm moving the cursor see this so what happens is that radiologist whoever is reporting he can give you this section he may 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 give you this section, you this section. and what happens is when you see a particular section only on the print you will come to a diagnosis which may not be right because nowadays we are placing the ambulated implants but when the sections are made and just given on a print of paper they are just a random perpendicular sections not necessary to the axial position of the implant let me show you one more thing it will amaze you uh, don't get too uh, you know amazed by this but just see how I can being a radiologist i can still misguide you just come closer i will show you so if you see here there are four implants can you see this one two three four okay and is if i'm not set this plane correctly if you see here now can you see i can't see the fourth implant you can just see one two and three implants one two and three implants and i can i can literally make one implant vanish away and but if you see on the axial section okay you see on the axial section you see this line is tilting over here and just by changing the tilt you see how much of an implant either i show you the implant or 
see i can show you just the tip of the implant and i the implant is missing over here or if i want just change the inclination over here see this now this is the actual inclination of the implant but the depth i have reduced which means i have not gone deeper inside and you see i can show you the complete implant so as, as you saw my friends don't uh, you know rely too much on those printouts or the, uh, the you know the just a few sections if you really want to plan you need to sit down with your cvct or like what i teach in my courses you don't actually need a cvct uh just the opg and certain key points are enough for you to know what is the bone and how much is the possible width so those tips and tricks definitely i will share you on some other day or in one of my courses if you attend you will definitely come to know till next time thank you very much if you have liked this video don't forget to smash the like button and share it with your friends it may be valuable for them also thank you